hi guys welcome to my channel guess what i'm here in sweden precisely the beautiful city of malmo to find out the level of discrimination and prejudice against people of color this is just a sequel to my first video about racism in denmark in case you haven't watched that kindly go on my youtube channel to watch the full video guys these videos are not meant to tarnish the image or reputation of any country i'm just trying to create awareness and education within our community so if you are ready kindly follow me to the streets of malmo let's find out what the people gotta say let's go hi brother hey bro tali. what's your name tali tali yeah where are you from i'm from originally from liberia liberia yes yes wow how long have you lived in sweden i live here actually for uh, for a long time 18 years 18 years yes wow so i've been here for a while now nice interesting yes, yes okay having lived here for 18 years yeah do you think sweden has a significant problem with regards to racism especially against blacks yeah like uh i think racism is like everywhere but like uh, some people show it more and uh, sh some people know how to hide it and uh, when i came to sweden uh, there was a lot of racism like you know especially in the early age when uh, people are curious but they don't want to like us they would just like you know come out in an aggressive way mm -hmm. and stuff like that so it was a bit uh, uh difficult going to school no okay. yeah yeah when, in, when i was uh, going uh, when i was young going to school mm -hmm. because i always had uh, you know when i came when, the first time i hear the word uh, it was here wow and uh, because the way the guy said the word to me, mm -hmm. it was uh, it sounded like there was something negative inside the way he said it. So mm -hmm. I went to ask my dad. I said, "Hey, I was playing with this guy. He got angry. He called me this word, you know." Uh, so my dad explained it to me and stuff like that. So I said, "Huh?" So you know, after that, I just start expressing more, mm -hmm. more and more. You know, yeah. Okay. They play very friendly, but like deep down, most of them. They don't, they are not that friendly, actually. Okay. So, yeah. So I experienced that, uh, I experienced that in different ways. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Even in jobs. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you share, like, a one experience uh, with us? Yeah, one experience I would say is, like, uh, for me, mm -hmm. personally, you know, I'm a guy who would like to give everything when I'm at a job. Yeah. I want to be the best I can be. So, you know, for example, like uh, I've been working for this company for like, I think over like three, four years, do very well, you know, and when it came to setting the uh, stage, they wanted to give me like a position. Yeah. But then after another guy, you know, came, mm -hmm. they gave me, they, they actually like, you know, they say, yeah, you can start, you know, being like a team leader, you know, instructing people and stuff like that. I say, yeah, I would, I would do this very well, you know, mm -hmm. but then after like, uh, what? Four weeks, another Swedish guy came in, and of course I knew like, okay, they, they're not going to choose me, <laughs> you know. So, so I just said, ah, it doesn't matter how hard I work or anything, you know, they will always choose their own before yeah. you. So, so that's a bit of racism too, like you yeah. know. But yeah, so but we we see that in different, you know. We see we see it in different ways, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, thanks for yeah, your, thanks time your time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, brother. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm Steven. You are? I'm Sarif. Sarif. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm from the Gambia. The Gambia? Yeah. Wow. The Gambia. How long have you lived in Sweden? I've been living here since uh, 2005. That's, 2005. Um, yeah, 18, 19 years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's a long time. It's been a while, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do in Sweden? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I work for an airline and um, I do engineering and um, technical logistics. Nice. Um, yeah, that's what I do. Okay. I've been doing that for the past 15 years, actually. Wow, so, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, I'd like to know, uh, from a black man's point of view, mm -hmm. uh, do you think uh, racism is an issue within the Danish society? The Swedish society, yeah? Yeah, yeah definitely it is. Um, and uh, that's, uh, the funny thing too is um, some of them are racist and without even knowing it, you know, subconsciously. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, they wouldn't show it to you directly, some of them. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of them would show you directly and they would uh, tell you all kind of stupid things like go back from where you come from and stuff like that. Wow. But some people uh, subconsciously will be doing racist things without knowing it. Mm -hmm. or without, um, you know, it just comes automatically. You, mm -hmm. For example, you speak to somebody in, in Swedish, they would answer in, in, in English because for them, 
you know, you're not from here, you know, one of them. So you're not even supposed to be speaking their language, kind of, you know. Mm. Um, or they'll just see you or they'll just assume, oh, you're a friend and uh, you, you you don't speak Swedish or, you know, so they would, even if you try to answer them in Swedish, they would still continue speaking English with you. Mm. They would see you in a shop and they would be like hiding their pin codes, like, you know, <laughs> like, I'm, come on, like, I have a very good job. I'm, yeah. like, I'm 100% sure that this person I'm seeing trying to, thinking that I'm going to steal his um, or her money. I am 100% sure I earn 10 times more than what they do. Mm. So yeah, these are these are things that you come across. And then of course the system, um, there is some um, um, structural racism in the system, okay. uh, like jobs and when it comes to job, the healthcare, and um, yeah, so 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 many areas actually. Wow, uh, definitely. Okay, you, earlier on you were telling me about your organization uh, yeah. with regards to racism. Can yeah. can you share a bit more on that? Yes, uh, we have an, an, an organization here actually. It's an anti-racism organization. We, uh, we call it R, um, um, uh, AFR, and that's AFR um, in um, in English. Um, so we we try to raise awareness um, um, about what what we the Afro Swedes um, Swedes are going through. Okay. Our um, our so we try to engage the authorities and try to um, uh, try to bridge bridge the gap um, between the authorities and um, and, and, and and the Afro Swedish um, people um, basically. Okay. So we have seminars. We um, we have um, we have um, uh, so many different. Um, Things that we do, like we have um, web pages that you can uh, use to, if you uh, if if you feel discriminated against, you can come to us and then we can try to bring it up with the authorities and um, mm. yeah, stuff okay. like that. Yeah, that's what we. Uh, we are you guys present on the social media? Do you have websites where or numbers where people can reach out to you if they they are facing? This yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Ifr uh, ifr uh, dot se. Um, you can go there or eyewitness. That's um if you. If you if you've been a victim of a crime or a victim of an um, racist okay. crimes or okay. any crime, that so you can just go in there and then, um, yeah, and okay. then file a report and then you come to us or you can just talk to us directly. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, brother, yeah, for your you're, time. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Thank yeah. you very much. Hello, brother. Hey, hey, brother. I'm Steven. What's your name? I'm Peter. How's Peter. Going? Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, how long yeah. have you lived in Sweden? Uh, I've been in Malmo for a year now. For a year. Yeah. Yeah. Originally, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Niger. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Omo Niger. Omo Niger. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, yeah. So I'd like to find out, as a black person living in Sweden, yeah. have you ever experienced any form of uh, racism or discrimination? And what do you think the Swedish society uh, is like? Do you think they have a problem with regards to racism? Uh, so I've lived here for just a year yeah. and in Malmo. And here I feel like it's... Uh, quite diverse culturally mm -hmm. so personally i've not experienced any form of racism okay yeah i notice most people keep to themselves here but when i've interacted with uh swedish citizens mm -hmm. uh, i've not gotten any form of racism from them so okay personally i've not experienced it mm -hmm. yeah so that's how i feel about it okay so yeah. on a scale of one to ten uh yeah. where would you place racism in uh, sweden Racism in Sweden, mm. uh, I think because I've not experienced it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't really give it uh, a number, yeah. but I'm sure people who have experienced it would think differently of it, mm -hmm. but personally for me, I can't even say, oh, it's a one, because it feels like I'm just okay. pushing it because I've not experienced exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. So that's how I feel about it, so All I right. wouldn't be rating it. All right. Thanks, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm Steven. What's your name? Uh, Arwani. Arwani. Uh, where are you from? I'm uh, from South Africa. South Africa. Mm -hmm. For how long have you lived in uh, Sweden? Uh, I think I've been here since September last year. September last year. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, have you ever experienced any form of uh, prejudice or discrimination living here in Malmo? I uh, know. Since I came here, I never experienced anything like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, people here, they just maybe not friendly or because of the language, but I haven't received any sort of uh, discrimination here oh, okay. since I arrived here. Oh, okay. So you are happy uh, living here so far, right? Yeah, I'm happy living here and studying here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Thanks so much, brother. Okay. So. Hello, brother. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, please, what's your name? David. David. Um, where are you from? South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. How long have you lived in Sweden? Close to 15 years now. 15 years. Wow. I'd like to know, 
as a black man, have you ever faced any form of racial discrimination and prejudice living here for 15 years? Yes, uh, not as, as uh, overtly as in South Africa when I live there, but it is here, it's more subtle in, okay. uh, in general. Mm. So do you think it is like a rampant issue in, in Sweden here or it is not so much? Well, I don't think, it feels as though some people don't know that they are being racist or doing those microaggressions. It's just that the way that they've grown up and they believe that that's um, the way it should be. But I think uh, there's, it is there. It's, it's, it's there. It happens. It happened on the train just now when I was coming oh. from, from Copenhagen. You know, the little things that you, you notice that people treat you differently to, to others. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Thanks so much, brother. Okay. Yeah. Hello, brother. Uh, good, good to you, brother. Yeah, I'm Steven. You are? Uh, John. John. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm uh, from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone? Yeah. For how long have you lived in Sweden? About 21 years. Wow. Yeah. 21 years. What do you do here? Uh, I do... I, I work... I have two different jobs, like, or three, maybe. So, I, I'm uh, in the... Uh, how do you call it? Industry. Yeah. Uh, industrial work uh, mm -hmm. for Volvo. We produce uh, big haulers, like I don't know how to call it. In, well, they call it dumper, Svenska. Okay. So uh, yeah, and then uh, I work as a security guard. Okay. Yeah. Wow. For living here 21 good years, have you ever experienced any form of racism? And do you think the Swedish society has an has a problem with regards to racism against black? Uh it's hard to see the racism open openly because nowadays it's more of a closet, like like a secret secret kind of thing. Because uh, many people are afraid of being uh, persecuted, uh, like uh, not persecuted, like being judged. Like for example, at, at my work, I've been here for maybe six, seven years now, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I'm in the same position uh, while some Swedish guy. Uh, newly comes comes in, mm -hmm. and they promote him above me, mm -hmm. faster than me. That I have more experience and been there much longer, mm -hmm. and it's also because um, sometimes uh, they are they are related to the to the bosses and that. Okay. So they prefer family members uh, mm -hmm. that are Swedish so close. Okay. So course. on a rate of one to ten, uh -huh. and ten being like the highest form of racism. Uh, where would you place Sweden? Uh, five, maybe. Five, eh? yeah. All right. All I'll right. say five. All right. I have to say five. Yeah. All right. Thanks, bro. No problem, bro. <laughs> All right. Hello, sis. Hi. Uh, please, what's your name? My name is Zenia Punyola. I'm from South Africa. South Africa. How long have you lived in Mamo? Um, so I lived in Mamo when I was studying here between 2020, 2020 to 2022. Oh, okay. Yes, so I was doing my MSc here in Malmö. Okay, so basically you've lived here for about four years now? Well, no, I, I, came, I have to leave back to South Africa and then recently came back now for a work conference. Okay. So I stayed here for two years plus. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, okay, so I want to know, do you think racism is a situation here in Den uh, Sweden? Um, from my personal experience, I think it, was, it is more of... Um, uh, a culture to a quick question a quick answer rather is no um i think as an african coming to a european country mm -hmm. you're coming to an already existing culture so it's almost as if when they're coming to our country mm -hmm. they need to some time to adjust to have an understanding of what the culture is there yeah but from my personal experience i haven't had a personal encounter mm -hmm. um where a person is discriminating against me because of the color of my skin more so because Remember, they don't speak primarily English in, in, in Sweden, it's Swedish. Mm -hmm. So it was more of an adjustment more than anything, especially in my first year here. Mm -hmm. But overall, um, I think what was nice about our university was that we were given a clear understanding of what the culture is in terms of um, the, the Swedes are more to their personal space. Whereas in Africa, it's normal for us to say, hello, how are you? Yeah. So for them, it, they been taken aback. So it's more about cultural differences mm -hmm. that we had to learn over time more than anything. But outside of that, I never personally experienced a harsh encounter of being discriminated against because of the color of my skin. Yeah. All, right, all right. Yes. Thanks so much, sis. Thank you so yeah, much. All right. So, hello, sister. Hello, brother. For how long have you lived in Malmo? 
I'm a visitor actually in Mamo. I was here for a conference and today is my day seven and I'm going back home. Okay. Um, so what do you do? Um, I'm a dentist by profession. Dentist? Yes, okay. and I'm from South Africa. From South Africa? Yes. All right. So you are only here barely seven days now? Barely seven days, yes. Have you, throughout these seven days, have you faced any racial discrimination? You know, I've, all along, I've, it's been okay. Today we had an interview, or at least one of the students that wanted to talk to us outside the university walls, and we got to hear about the subtle racism that's around here. Mm. I haven't specifically um, experienced it, but I kind of suspect it. We have collaboration in a university that I won't say now. Okay. But yeah, we just assumed that things are okay. Mm -hmm. But I now know that actually the more people, the reason people don't talk is because the stuff that they don't want to talk about, else, you know, people have permanent jobs, nobody wants their job to be, to, to be yeah, at risk. Okay. But I heard about it today mm -hmm. and it's sad, you know. Oh, yeah. um, we thought Sweden is better than South Africa, mm -hmm. but we now know that actually. <laughs> but of course they are better in many ways when it comes to Sweden and South Africa. At least yeah. education is free, is that correct? Yeah. And health is free as well, yeah. um, which is the opposite for us. For us, just a little bit of education, lower primary, and also some primary health care, but everything else we pay. All right. So um, personally, just one shop where I wanted to buy the... The some mamo remembrance for me, the memorabilia, bear, and maybe the guy was like, "What is this one doing?" Here? So I had wow. to 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 talk mm. to make him recognize me yeah. as a person because I entered the shop, but uh, he did not seem to. He didn't act as if the sympathy client came in to, to buy something, mm. but it was only that one isolated incident. But as I said, the last interview with the talk that we had this morning with this particular person, mm -hmm. yeah, I was, now I understand why there's Palestinian protests out there. Mm -hmm. By the way, we went to Lund University okay. and um, we were the few colleagues that joined the students and wanted to hear their students why they're protesting. Mm -hmm. Nobody recognized them, nobody, you know, acknowledged their presence, but now it explains why. Okay. And I know they subtle, but personally, yeah, yeah, it wasn't those, those overt things. Okay. Yeah. So guys, these are opinions from people in Malmo. I met a couple of others who shared their experiences with me, but weren't too comfortable being on camera. So here's my general perspective. I think the state of racism in Malmo is pretty subtle. I don't really know much about Stockholm, which is the capital of Sweden and where the black population is pretty higher. I'll end here by borrowing the words of one of my viewers who said, a little racism is still too much racism. I hope my videos will contribute to changing the narrative and make us all better humans. If you find this content informative and educative and want more of this, comment which city I should do next. Until I see you in my next video, peace.